Bololo, 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 bololo. What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my days. Oh my days. Oh my days. There we go. <laughs> ah, you just saw my biggest trick over there. You just saw the magician's trick. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. Oh my goodness. And I am your host. I just kicked my camera. This is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a Kosi Football Club. Uh, in this video, we have some interesting things to talk about because Chiefs has officially confirmed the signings of Utada. Ditlokwe uh, and Christian Sahil Pasomboli. Uh, that's that's the full name. Uh, Christian Sahil Pasomboli. So that's what's up. Chiefs made two signings. And I think, let's be clear from the start, one player is not joining Chiefs immediately, right? So one player, Utatayoana Ditlokwe. <laughs> The defender from super sports is joining each chiefs end of the season yeah so beginning of the next season so um so the thing is he's basically signed on a pre-contract which as we know is like our favorite way of signing players pre-contracts or free agents so we got one in a pre-contract and yeah that's what's up that's that's how we do business but i won't complain Uguti, we signed a player because at the end of the day if we did sign a player, we did sign a player. So for those of you who don't know, this is the guy that we are talking about when we say, who, who's this? Who Christian, who Christian Sahel Basomboli. This is the guy that we are talking about. So this is the guy that Chiefs acquired. And he has been playing in... I made a video about him just a few days ago. Uguti, SAPC had reported Uguti was coming to South Africa. So I guess that was true. So here he is. He's coming to Chiefs. So I will talk about them in more details as the show continues. But as you are joining or as you are watching after this video is published, just make sure Uguti, as you join, please do make sure to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And all those nice things, you know, to help my channel, help this channel grow and reach new levels. I appreciate you a lot. And also do let me know what you think of each of the signings uh, that we just signed. Uh, <laughs> so we, 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 I want to know your opinions, guys, because they are very important. Uh, and I just have to say, by the way, Uguti, this channel is is more about interacting with the fans it's it's good to make content right but i never want to i was thinking about this thing walking back from work because i walk from work because it's my time to distress after teaching kids the whole day i was thinking Guti, you know it's fun for me to do this right it's it's just it comes natural because I'm a Kaiser Chiefs fan, right? And I enjoy talking to other fans because that's what we do. We support Kaiser Chiefs. We have that in common. And we love the team. They hate us because I know after we lose, we're all together here. After we win, we're celebrating together. So it's good for me. I love this. And what I love more is to hear what you guys have to say because other things that happen is that I learn a lot from some of the things that we talk about and i get different perspectives as well from what you say and so do make sure i'm better to leave the comments because uh yeah it's it's about learning it's about growing it's about building a community that is you and yeah so ama comments are that important uguti they just make me talk to you and know and know what i'm actually talking to a human being on the other side because if i can show you how weird this is it's like me <laughs> i will take a picture on there and show you it's me with these two lights a green screen behind me and then it's just basically 
a camera that I'm looking at. So if I'm getting comments from the other side, it lets me know good. Okay, I'm making content to people who are actually watching and who care about the content I'm making. Because one of the things, MJ, sidetracking here for a second. One of the things that happen when you're making YouTube content is that you end up being trained, especially when you're making a content and people are just always waiting for you to report on the new signing. Who's the new signing for Chiefs? Because some people really just ask me that because I wanted to talk to people. My stream is lagging. I am seeing that. Reconnection successful. Wow, I wonder what that was about. So my connection is coming back in a second. So, yeah, so I'm going to say, Uguti, what, what, what makes me happy when I talk to people is that I see good. It's not just people about Zope good to ban signing good chiefs. And then when I make other videos, they won't care. They won't watch them. But you're actually here watching my video of past seven about the Bugeli scandal. So that means a lot to me. So I have to say those things. Good. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. About Kosi Simba, Sehau, Kosi Buisile, Kosi Unati, Kosi Mandla, Kosi Hopoto. Shout out Kosi Temba Shez, Kosi Lindo Wutlem Sibi. You know, all these guys are already here joining with me before the show even starts. So, yeah, shout out. People need to know they're appreciated and I do appreciate you guys for always joining. So now that I've done the appreciation and put it on the side, I used to be a pastor. So I, 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 I remember these things. People need to be uh, reminded that they're important since they are important. So I would do that with my team as well from time to time. And yeah. So anyways, uh, let me just I've welcome all the people and let me just read the comments before I talk about my own comments. So Uti Kosi Simba, yes, yes. Uh Yebo. And then Kosi Sehaut as we wait. Uh Kosi Buisile says, I'm in, hey Tampilo Wola. And then Kosi Hao says, throw a like as you come in. Indeed, throw a like as you come in. And then Kosi Sehau says, what are your thoughts on the physique of the new striker? I will talk about that in a second. I think if we start and just go in Velengo Christian Sahil, I made another video about him, but I'll just make another video about him. Anyway, I think the edge that he has on Caleb from the videos that I've seen anyway, is that as, as much as him and Caleb seem to have the same body type, he seems to have an edge on Ukeleb in that yeah, now nah, he's also quicker than Ukeleb. It seems. It seems like he's a pacey person. Understandably so also because he also plays as a winger, right? So if Vele he plays as a winger, that requires you to be quick, right? So I think if you have a player like that who's going to be quick if he does that when he, he, he plays. He's quick, he's physically just intimidating to Mark. I think he could really be a good player. He could really do things that we hope or that some of us thought Caleb was going to do. And I won't, I won't use this moment to bash Caleb and say maybe Caleb is a bad striker. No, I just think Caleb can do much better, right? So with this competition, Christian, I'll just call him Chris. Uh, with the competition, Chris, it sounds like he's white if I say Chris. Uh, with Ubasomboli, because I think he's just going to wear the jersey. I think Ubasomboli, Wakona, Mayanga figure ne pace yake, and Abe more accurate when it comes to scoring goals. Then Zoba Nente, right? Because the videos I've seen of him, shame. Aga kech, aga kech. We are kech, aga glaba video kwa bonile. So I hope he's better than uh, the videos that I've seen. Because he, 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 However, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to say is that I'm just hoping, I am hoping Uguti, he, he performs better uh, than the videos that we've seen of him trying to change my lighting here so that it looks better because i don't like this thing that's showing on my left because the light is not well okay oh great <laughs> okay so that's what i'm saying i'm hoping what is better than the youtube videos that i've seen of him because wow ah, 
but if he uses his physical presence and ability to 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 do things i will be happy because i think i said this about sehota yesterday Uti. one of the things about sehota that i don't like is the fact that he's a um, he's he's a he's a quick player on a pace but then when it comes to the final product he doesn't deliver so i would hate it if ubasomboli is the same player Uti. he's just going to be quick and run past uh he's just gonna run past people and then at the end of the day he ends up missing i hope that's not the case and yeah that's all i can say about ubasomboli another thing though that i will say about ubasomboli would i made a video about him where are my notes let me check my notes on that video about him uh because um okay uh da, 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 da. Oh yeah, so Uguti he did trial with the Chiefs. He, oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the Bayama Kola Kala season, Uguti, ama videos that we have seen of him this season, they just show him being horrible, missing chances left, right, and centre. However, if the guy scored 19 goals last season, yeah, scores 19 goals this man, and then in scoring 19 goals he gets his team promoted to his Zambian. Uh, he prom he gets in Changa Rangers to be promoted to Zambian Premier League, their first division. And then this season scores his Iwomkubelo when he was playing his last game. He was scoring the eighth goal in the season and Unama assist our seven, I think. And the team Yaki number twelve. So here you have an average a player who plays for an average team but giving good numbers. So that tells you then Wuti, this guy is able to deliver playing for an average team so how much more will he deliver if he's playing for a team that has good quality so that's where i can rest the whole booty he, he he played well in an average team so what can stop him to perform even much better in a team that i think is better right in a quality so yeah i i just hope he's really better another thing is is the good there were doubts yeah eight goals seven assists there were doubts because Uguti ama contract negotiations they hit a deadlock and that is only chiefs side to which they were just being cheap not wanting to sign the player as quickly as they realized what they needed him or they wanted him so that's another thing Uti. maybe it was just the side yeah chiefs Uguti, they were being cheap so that's not a big deal that's not an issue yak and another thing is that he's 22 right so if Caleb who's 24 we have Basombo who's 24 so now if Caleb starts scoring more goals and Basombo is also there as I don't know some corners on your scheme you look and show a bit corners on your scheme at the end of the day and if they are both performing well then it just could be really 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 deadly because so kuluma ngutata in in a moment but if you have it chiefs risking like filling up their foreign spots with uta u christian that means they see what is a good quality i guess in their eyes according to their assessments so i hope he does what he's brought in to do then let me just continue with my comments from you guys and do continue to leave your comments so that i can read them and hear what you think i want to hear what you think so comments please and then uh unati because unati says hey kosi wola wola and um because manda says chief signed the first free agent for next season and i wouldn't be shocked if there were two more or oh, because between now, between now and the 28th, I will just make a side note of this thing. I just tweeted it before coming on to the show. If it is, is done signing, Valley, they wanted to make it big right now and so that everyone can see Uti. They've signed two players. Great. I said on Twitter that I feel like it is, are really, really good at marketing, which is good and bad, right? Because in being good at marketing, they are trying to position a brand at the highest possible level of exposure. For instance, 
In the morning, in Newsroom Africa was broadcasting from Inachurena, Kuno Chesika, Kuno Kazam Town Junior. And later on in the day, boom, Segu Sainabadan. So it's like this day was just set, Uguti, we must trend. On this day, we must trend. So it's more like, to me, maybe I'm being too much on this, Uguti. Maybe now they are trying too much to say, a trend in Amlanch, trend in Angama signings. Sibe talk of the town. More than Uguti, no, we needed this player because we need a striker. So it's more like man, just like my legu bene brand exposure. You go to sign um lali, um lalo benga kulu nyonga izolo, obenga kulu nyonga exasa. Kala ma signing so when the abe official nam change o two. So then Japan ba zokuluma kanya kanya nati. So I feel like ilento le you go to umunta ngafiga be absent when you need him like the entire year, and then when they show up, they just come in. Would boom like okay here we are we signed two players sig newsroom at the same time i would rather have a consistent type of management that is always there when i need them to talk what's going on with the chiefs bastel okay maybe weekly maybe monthly not too good they only show up when they have good news to tell us because the rest of the times that team that means tina sling just yet abang with our chiefs it will go in so now it's like bazo bazo tinge okay manje it's like umuntu opunga ngayo mayibuye goal ngo December okay abahlale goal they won't get this but tina ke who leave the makaya people who come from a goal were working the whole year and they didn't come home the whole year when they come in what December they bring in bags and everything and then you're like oh they are here but the whole year you needed shoes they didn't show up you needed food they didn't say anything you needed all of these other things and they didn't show up but when they show up they want to make it a spectacle good everyone must see good oh chiefs has shown up so i would hate it if it's more than just my assumptions would see chiefs when they show up they just want to make sure good everyone sees them and not necessarily because they are doing it because it's something that needs to be done that's just me being over analytical but Guys, do let me know what you think about the signings. So, in the bag, you can see after I read these comments. Uh, so, I'm going to comment on the comments. I'm going to comment on the says Ola am Ola. Opozo says, happy with the signing our new striker, Christian. I just hope he's nothing. <laughs> he's nothing like Caleb. Aren't we all? Or don't we all? Everyone, if a team is signing a player, we all hope oh, they are better than the existing player. Even, even, if, even if the... What's this? What can I say? Even if the other players are performing well in any case, you still want the new signing to be better than the rest because... Why would you bring someone who is like less efficient if it's efficient that we need? Why would you bring someone who's not going to add value to the team? So we really hope that. And then Koslin Dogutla says, um, oh, keep, yeah, boy, keep the channel running. Yes, Koslin Dogutli, I shall do that if you keep on liking, viewing and subscribing. And for those who are not subscribed. Okay. Uh, Mohale. Because Mohale says Chiefs must push for early release of Titlokwe. We still need strong number six. Ah. Ega Titlokwe vele. It's it's a thing of, of July. Ne? Because I. I'm coming here because you have brought it up. So. Tata ya. Oh my God. Tata yaone Titlokwe. <laughs> so he's. A defense is he's a defender Vele, from Super Sport United. Uh yeah, he's from Super Sport United. And he's coming to Chiefs end of or end of December. And he's coming as a left footed center back. He's left footed. So I think for him, it's more like we're signing not a left back, but him coming to Chiefs is going to free Udovi from playing as a left center back because now we're going to have a natural left footed center back because because I'm least so I think him coming in is going to free Udova to play as a left back from the next season. 
I don't think they will push for him to 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 be released now because they are not paying anything for him to come in June. So that is why they just signed a pre-contract. So uh, they will just wait it out. And they've made us the announcement in any case. Uguti, they want him to to come. Uh, they they need him to come, and he's coming. So. Then comes U Kosmandla happy with the defensive signing. I like that Botswana guy. Hope he can shine. Funny enough, I don't know whether it's because I don't watch Super Sport, but <laughs> I didn't know about him, so I was shocked. So Egypt has been sniffing around with, with Super Sport. We've been wanting their players. Even the players that they try, a lot Bradley Cross started trialing with Super Sport. He came to Chiefs, and then we wanted to sign with Luke Flues. Didn't work, and then we we're like, "Huh, who's free?" And then such as so sign with the clock. <laughs> they were like, "Super Sport, you're not gonna sell us so om na om bule." So now we're just going to sign someone from you, just to say we did sign someone from you. Albeit it's not like a signing that Chiefs has paid for. So they they. They like Uguti. They just gonna come and what can I say? Mbalegelo makami. Abogba life. This is the problem with being live. I can't edit this. I just forgot what I wanted to say. So forgive me. So my point is, Ziga got a mangza mugu We signed someone from Super Sports, a team that we rarely sign someone from because they always sell to Sundowns. Uh, and then Ukosi Lindo Gutle says. Lindo Wutle who says, I, the YouTube videos of the guy, we are catch <laughs> That's what I saw. But we can only hope, Lindos, we can only hope Uguti, he comes to Chiefs and then he's, he, he gets better. And then, Kositolo Ana Halane says, Welcome, Prayaka. I believe Saile plus his giant and a left footed striker. I really, really hope this guy can give us something here. Because when a height, when a pace, Melon Jabe accurate. Because the last thing I need right now is another striker, a soccer. I have enough of that, guys. I just have enough. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> so, another one. Movie Mania says, I also hope he's better aerially than Caleb and that he's got better balance. Yeah, cause I band. Yeah, uh, one I said this yesterday. One of these days, one of these days, we will sit here and just have an honest conversation about to Caleb. Uh, but for now, we won't have that honest conversation. Uh, but but Gempela Gempela, U Caleb is tall, but aerial balls, he never, he rarely wins them. Like. R A R E L Y. That's what I'm saying. He really miss mm, wins a maheta. Like that's what you expect from your tall player, especially from the number of crosses that we play to the box. Yet, so I hope it does better. Uh, and then he costly to call us as Olympilo Pro. Ola Poti. Awe awe. Uh, cost him funny, him funny, him funny le. Msani says Kaiser Chiefs. Please just put that smile in our face. That was the point of announcing the two players at once today. Hopefully they surprise us tomorrow and sign someone was South Africa. <laughs> Listen to me lying to myself. <laughs> and then Cousin Fanny continues to say, I think people like Peter Palak and Neil Tovi are needed to motivate players. Uh, that's another discussion, yes. That's another discussion because there is this whole thing going around Yogu Tuzwane needs help. And I I maybe we, we can talk about this next week, Monday, and focus on that because there have been a lot of names that have been dropped. Uguti, they can help Uzwane in what way and yada yada and all that stuff. So we can talk about that sometime next week. So I'll just, yeah, help. I will note it down so that I don't continue. Uh, help for Zwane. <laughs> Anyways, um, more comments from Ukose Khuputo says, Now that we have Sail, we can have Sekhota and Caleb home the bench and only use them when we have to change the game. 
we need goals now i feel like you wanted to add an exclamation mark to say we need goals now because we do uguti gegevele for the next four to six weeks which means okay is going to only start playing for your chiefs in like six weeks i'm having the same problem i can't find my chart here yeah, there it is i think he will only start playing end of end of feb yeah because i'm a what's this thing am we going to have am paperwork are being finalized and stuff like that but at least in the meantime we'll be adapting to how chiefs is playing yada 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 and by the time he comes in for the sake of okay he better be performing at a very high level by that time because if he's not at that level this guy will take his game from him just like what you is doing to sehota right now so yeah Caleb, this should force him to 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 yeah to do bad and then kosi peg says yeah nez ya kale kala ngempel sando patrick hello kosi says i'm happy for case achieve signing you and me both with some doubts and then kosi lloyd says thanks my brother you predicted these signings and they happened yeah i didn't <laughs> i actually didn't because i uh, i i thought i saw the news report i knew what they would do them but yeah i can't take compliments for i can't take a compliment for this uh sapc can take compliments for this one and then course unati says i like your comparison with umunto salai goal you nailed it there yes for those of you who are not here yet yeah i was talking about how we chiefs they are like this parent or who wasn't visiting home the whole year like what chiefs does they just ghost us for the entire time and then they just show up at once and say boom here are the signings we've done one two and three then they shut up and then like oh we're hungry we need players we need signings we need this we need that they like quiet and when they come in they come in with one uh just boom once off and they expect us to forget who they've been quiet the whole time so yeah i'm glad someone can relate with that and then tando patrick says thank you so much for updating us for keeping us updated it's a pleasure I do it because you guys watch the content. That's why I do it. Because Avela says, Hi, I'm Pilo. Hi, Mina. I'm just neutral. These players. And the new world is a little bit there are some players that we've gotten too excited with who have really underwhelmed us like who to pray we're expecting a lot from to pray and we can talk about how he's played at chiefs yada yada and all that stuff but the truth is why energy he hasn't really like covered himself in glory he hasn't been prolific he has missed a lot of chances because it's not that you can't tell me what a person gets a 1v1 with the keeper and then they miss and you tell me oh they are playing out of position if you are 1v1 with the keeper it's not because of your position you are catching because you are lacking in a composure so i think those issues need to be addressed as well as we are bringing more players to come in and then kosi homolemo says go tato Tata yone titi titlo kwe. Go, 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 go. We can't wait for him to come in June. Uh, yeah. Kosi Mandla says, Antonio Van Veik and Masego from Supersport. Two years, I think, would add value. Two players, I think, would add value. Yes, U Van Veik, guys. Can I tell you just a secret? U Kosi Mandla has been on in the baga Van Veik. He has been talking about Van Veik. Every comment, when I say a strike... He will say Van Veik every time. So <laughs> I know you like Van Veik, Shem, because every time there is anything about signing anyone, you bring him up. So check out Van Veik, guys. <laughs> uh, I think, I think, Ngampela Kosimandla, uh, with your knowledge, I think you are convinced for a reason, Uti. He would make a good signing to each his. Uh, so I I don't I haven't seen him really play that much so I would reserve my my judgment because I have not watched him. So why is 
Tato just started at the clock with a good signing. I said it earlier Guti, because he's going to allow Dover to go to a left back. But still, by the end of the season, we'll still need another left back because either way, if he comes into his chiefs, Utlanti by the end of the season, I don't think he will like be a better player than he is right now because he's getting older and he's not giving us anything at this point. So there is that thing, Yoguti. He does add e e e depth come defender because some people are saying why why is chief signing defenders mean i complained Uguti, they are going after him because i thought they were going to sign him now right so i was like i'm not happy with they are going after defenders but i get why they signed him right because i think we need him because utuba utube not tuba utube is going he's leaving in chiefs austin mantoho is leaving in chiefs end of the season right so that leaves you with ukwenika ungezana no so you have three defenders and uto vangimbali because he's a left back but he's a makeshift he's a makeshift center back so he's used in that position but release him to a left back then you left with three center backs and all of the three are not left footed so then that's why you need a player like him because when he comes into his chiefs then he's going to give you He's going to give you e e e e e balance. Ugo to a right footed center back and a left footed center back, which is something that I think Zwane wants, and it helps the team to have a balance as well. So that's why it's good. And the other reason is the fact that he's 24, so he is young. He's gonna grow in the system, so he might not come in and expect to play immediately. Yabo like Ugo to say la pagle eleven vel, but he might come in and say, okay, I still want to prove myself and win things for your chiefs and perform and be patient and blah 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 and all that stuff and we have all these players at that young age growing with the team going forward and for your chiefs we know it's good for them what they have bam, 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 bam. a player that they are signing for free right we know this is what our team likes signing players for free and they have they got their men for free the issue though that he presents this thing you're lighting, I must really sort it out because it makes me stop looking there because keep on seeing this. Yeah, let me look. Uh, camera, come this side. Yes. Uguti, I feel like the problem that I have right now is that it's not a problem. It's a situation that Chiefs has put them in themselves in. So let's count foreign players that are Chiefs. So we have Utove, center back. He is a foreign player. You go to our attackers. You have Upiliat. Oh, it makes sense. You have Upiliat, who is a foreigner. You have Upemenimana, who is a foreigner. You have... Why am I forgetting the other players? Oh, now you have Usail. And now you have Utitlokwe. So you have five foreign players. However, I just thought Ugutu Piliat is leaving end of the season. So there will still be one space for a foreign player come end of the season which means then they can sign whoever that player is end of the season which is good news it is really good news for a different reason i think i'm just gonna make a video about that but it's good news because what this does it's going to force each chiefs to be a space sort of for a foreign player and that means they will be forced to sign quality players who are already playing in South Africa because they can't import any other player. If they import any other player, the fifth player blockbuster signing because you can't just buy another player to fill the space, right? So that means that means the Chiefs have now certainly guaranteed to go team in June they will be signing local players who won't need time to adapt, who won't need six weeks to process their visas and stuff like that so that's also how these signings are indirectly affecting how each chiefs will be forced to sign players but on the other hand they could say each chiefs each chiefs they can just still use their trials system and find them free agents and get them to trial anyway guys please do make sure to continue liking the video uh, leaving my comments if you are live right now leave a comment if you're com if you're watching after this video is published again let me know what you think of utata titlok and christian saile uh basomboli ubasomboli uzo koga what number i don't know okay 
see my my comments which say uh cosimfani says i think we got a problem <laughs> in coal department hmm? it's an issue ni puzela manzi because if ukune leaves end of the season where we at with u peterson no 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 vuma because they are not covering themselves in glory whatsoever so so bagu pinapo bazo kala pants are we going to sign a goalkeeper i don't know <laughs> i don't know i will leave that for another day because i'm fun to stress on my defender right now and then cosma rita says uh they must get ufist in my lm msimango and a dm wait marite uh i have a question so u u u u u u tata is from wait a minute oh my god i just forgot his country of origin u tata titlokwe so he is from i think botswana let me confirm uh yeah he's he's from botswana yeah he's from botswana so uh I am I I I wonder cuz I think you also said you are from Botswana at some point. So I wonder what you think of the player uh him him. I know Guti as a player who is um who who is from Botswana as well. You must be glad you to sign a Botswanian player. So let me know what you think of the player as well uh yourself as a Botswanian if you are. <laughs> and uh, no lesotho i'm confusing the two countries all together but i think you will correct me and then cuz unati says honestly pile titloko is not a bad player at all he's also left footed that means he brings balance to our defense and you can push it over to the left back plus he's got age on his side ah uh, we we think alike i just said that gutiga your comment came after i already uh, said that so you po- you you commented and I, i didn't see the comment before i just saw it now and wait i'm not re- ignoring you maritza so you say we must sign fistin maela fistin maela another striker which who plays for younger and who would cost us something and we know how chiefs are like they the the con the, what's this thing the talks to sign uba somboli he reached a, a stalemate at some point because chiefs didn't want to pay for this player playing for a small team how much more is it going how much difficult is it going to be to sign umael i just don't think it's happening in the umael and i've lost hope and i've just given up and then i'm simang who given i think by signing a left footed center back which who given him simang is it points to that we are no longer pursuing that player one and two he just extended his contract to test galaxy end of uh, the last transfer window and the galaxy were open to selling him but now they extended his contract which means the chiefs were late to sign him and it's going to be more expensive to try and sign him this window because the contract yak has been you know extended so it's going to be tricky eh? so I, i i don't think unfortunately your three wish list players are, are, are going to be signed uh umandla kozmala says msimang or defender that would be perfect captain of his team yeah perfect but <laughs> it doesn't look possible shep cause the lord says i think we need to bring two more because going to play kev super league we might have injury issues and not be able to finish in good position at this point cosi yazi i you just reminded me with the super league next year i mean this year and i'm just like we are not even showing who to a player who who, who is we're a team that's trying to sign someone it's like we're just a team that is like yeah we trust yeah well oh everyone in south africa is just getting obsessed now with praising the sundowns oh we can't compete with the sundowns so everyone is just gonna sit on their behind and do nothing because uh each chiefs is sundowns is a big team and everyone else is just going to i don't know praise them they are playing better than every other team but that could be because now la mama team they are busy worshiping sundowns and failing to give the sundowns a game if the sundowns were dominant as everyone is saying they are 
Why are they still winning abo 1-0? They are supposed to be destroying everyone 5-0. I digress. Go back. Please, si- please subscribe. Please like the video. I digress. That's just a thing on the side. And then, yeah, we need to start showing what we are. We are we are a, a big team and sign like a, a team that's going to play in the Super League. Kosi Marita says, Kama is registered as a local player acquiring permanent residency. By the way, they must add name, Neymar. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh, so that's good. That's good. So that means we even, even if Kama, if, if Kama leaves Vele in, in June, we still have a space. But since Kama is still at Chiefs, that means we still have one space remaining for a foreigner yeah so that basically means right now we still can, we can still sign and i was expecting what they were going to sign umakovic that defender who could play as a defensive midfielder but in my head i then thought he's playing in europe so he's probably gonna be a bit expensive so knowing he chiefs he's not going to sign him and then mfanile msani says i think pizza could change our fortune I don't think any coach could change our fortune, let alone beat. Not because he's a bad coach, no. Because he would clash with the Chiefs. Because who beats at this point, I don't, he's not the kind of coach who tolerates nonsense. At this point, this Iviak is too good to come to the Chiefs and ruin his reputation with Bang and the management that don't want to spend. Because if you look at the teams, it trajectory guys is like this at this point. I won't be surprised if in the next five years he ends up coaching somewhere in Europe. His trajectory career is going like this. That's the thing that's happening with right now. He's not coming back to coach Chiefs. That's not happening. It is not. Like, it's you just need to forget in the bag because, like, imagine him coming back to Chiefs and then they refuse to give him signings and they tell him to compete with the Sundowns. Like he's coaching Al Hilal right now. Upito is also he was coaching Alali. Now why we need Champions League in Sundowns to come back to a team that's not ambitious in the way they do things. They say they are ambitious, but they don't show the actions with their ambitious. So I think in the Baga Pito is just a no no. It won't happen. Not because he's a bad coach. He could help you chips, but it's 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 not a thing that will happen. And Kosivuyani says, I'm happy with Chiefs with the striker. And then Temba says, he says something very important. Guys, let us like the video, please. Yes, let us like the video, please. And then Kosivuyani says, I'm from George. Wow, a person from George. That's interesting. Because I've I, I thought George only has white people. Because <laughs> it's just there in its own place. I I almost went to George in 2019, but then I didn't have enough money. There was a conference there. Long story, not important. And then Kosimanda says, sign to be a big team. Sundowns have been winning because of their team quality. Yeah, that, that's the true. Abangabantu will make it seem like. Look, I will say this. I think Rulani people don't give him much credit because the moment the moment he he became a sole coach like the main guy we started seeing Santos playing differently but there is no question Yoguti Vele quality players also help the team play better right so I think Vele as much as they needs to be coaching but they also needs to be quality players in the squad because you can coach average players and they will only give you above average results but if you coach good players they will give you better results Aish, that sounds really good yes yeah, that i feel like i should just write it here on a t-shirt yes yeah, i am saying you can coach average players and they will give you above average results and if you coach good players they will give you better results Oh, that sounds really good. I just came up with that. Maybe it's not as good as it sounds. No, I'm taking that. It sounds good. <laughs> and then Kosi Simba says Chief should start planning their a playing their A game. True, starting this weekend. We need a big response, otherwise there is no going forward. 
Uh, and then, guys, by the way, if you're just joining, it just came to me right now. If you're just joining, please make sure to turn on the notifications. We go live every day at half past seven. So do not forget, we go live at half past seven every day. And then, ga 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 says, I think charity begins at home. He must be given a chance to Bafana. Again, upito bam nige is a chance to Bafana Bafana. And then they didn't give him enough, enough chance. They just said, it's a coach Bafana Bafana. And then they fired him. Like that, they didn't give him as much time as they give other foreign coaches. But upito, they just said, two minutes and then you are gone so if they could give upi to bafana bafana they would be good i guess again that's a topic for another day because i also mean a favor upros and people don't like upros because he also seems like an arrogant coach but who, which coach doesn't seem arrogant have you ever seen pep guardiola after losing he will defend his decisions defend his team even if they're wrong Oh, Mourinho, three times, three times. Every big coach seems to have an ego. And so not saying Upros is a big coach, but I'm saying coaches do have ego. So, yeah, but that's that's just me digressing. Kosi uh, Vuyane <laughs> says, oh, ba, 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 ba. I think I skipped. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to read my comments. So another one says, we are still too far from complete. I agree with you, Siabulela. We still need other areas that need to be strengthened a lot, defensively, offensively, everything. I should actually hide this thing because this thing of looking at the chart, showing me people watching and then leaving, a young Pazamis, so saying if it's little. Okay, so... Uh, he comment 80. You must come back to George when I come back to SA in, 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 in August. If I do come back to SA in August, by the way, I can come back to SA in August depending on how this channel grows. If the channel grows and I can do this full time, then I can come back to SA. So, really, it's up to the people who watch this channel whether I stay in Asia or not. I am teaching English in Asia, but if this channel grows to a point that I can do it as a full-time job, then I will be in SA, going to stadiums, game in, game out, talking to fans and having shows with other fans present physically. Just a side note, but if the channel is still at 7,000, 8,000 subscribers, I will stay here and continue making money from this site and then because each channel won't be paying me basically so i have to have a job that will pay me and then kosi vuyane says uh okay kosi manda says gives one sundowns and he will be where rulani is i am not arguing against that i'm just saying Guti, there are coaches who would still mess up his sundowns at any point at, in any case so yeah because <laughs> then finally says i think if rulani can give a team like sekukune that's why we could call him a good coach. Yeah, I think Ipasca Rulani also affects him because people are saying, what should I pirate? There's another team that I want to bat him through. So that is why people are like, I and see again more Rulani. <laughs> and then, oh, Kosilindogu, the lights are showing now. Okay. Kosilindogu says, um, talking of Sundowns, why are they failing to increase their fan base with all this success? Anyways, Kulmang Ekos, we need exciting and fearless players like Skara, Pule, Banda, Lebese. I think when a Kosi Lindogutle, Sundowns is a small team. There are certain things that just won't change. They are a small team and that ends on the side. And the Chiefs is a big team and whether you like it or not, they are continuing to be a big team. Okay, let me just say a big brand because now we're not showing to a big team. However, okay, because uh, we, 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 we are so good 80 months. Yeah, guys, I'm going to in Bugele Mina Glad Generations. Thank you so much for watching. I think these guys who do Bano Shabalala are coming with that, and more players from it development will bring a fearlessness to the team. So I think that will be great. Uh, yeah. 
Cause then dogo utlem sebi says I'm live from Swaziland. Yes, Swaziland. I have a friend who lives in Swaziland. Uh, yeah, I won't tell her. I won't tell you her name. Angfun <laughs> busuti. Umpilo told me uguti you are his friend. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching again. I will see you tomorrow where we'll be previewing the game between the Chiefs and the Sundowns. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a mark comments down in the comment section below. And until next time, remember, Eko C and Pelumo.